Hey there, Tyler. Amy here. I spoke to Haley the other day. Here is the video that she and I talked about. I'm a local business owner just like yourself and no COVID shook a lot of things up. I'm going to show you what you can do to get a more predictable and steady flow of customers. I'm pretty much going to explain to you three things that you can do today to really bring value to your company and start getting more customers through your door, okay? Often local business owners like yourself are too busy running your business to learn how the internet can benefit them and their company. And sometimes the only hesitation that you guys have to hiring somebody is they don't really know who is an expert and who isn't. I found that giving people an easy free attack plan of actual things you can do to impact your business has resulted in some of those business owners raising their hands and saying, I like you, Amy, please do this for me. So by the end of this video, Tyler, you like what you heard and you can see that I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that can help you with your business. Shoot me a message back and we can chat. Or if at the end of this video, you simply want to take this free attack plan that I'm giving you and do it yourself, that works for me too. The very first thing I want to go over is your website and what we call content. So when someone searches for Let's go with uh, Houston area. I know you do the Corpus, Huntsville, Louisiana, but um, we'll go with Roofing Contractor Houston. Google crawls websites on the internet, searching and ranking the sites. It's looking for keywords. It's looking for what should this site be found for. So when I go through here, I see you have some nice photos on your site and a beautiful layout. I see a little bit of content, but not a whole lot of content. And one thing I can tell you about Google is Google loves content. So Google likes to see about 2,000 words on your front page. And we're looking at right now with your site is we're probably sitting at about 500 words on this page. So adding 1,500 words of content with keywords you're trying to target it's going to help you get found for those keywords and we'll talk a little bit more about keywords here in a second but not only does Google just look at your site but when Google comes into your site they can't tell what they should be ranking you for if you don't have any keyword specific things on here so what does that mean well, let's look at a competitor so when I looked up roofing contractor Houston these guys came up and when we scroll through their website we see content here pictures and they have about 700 words on here very beatable in terms of content. So what does this mean? Well, this right here is a tool I use called a refs. It allows me to see every keyword you're ranking for. So we can see that you're getting found for 200 keywords. And if we go in there and look at some of these arrange them by position, we could see your, your best buyer intent keywords are going to be, let's see, Rockport roofing, Willis roofing, your number 14 and 15. So that's your best uh, and then your next one is Houston, Texas, storm damage um, at number 17. Roofers Conroe, your number 19. Okay, so if we go in here and we look at your competitor here, look at their keywords. They have about 765 keywords that they're ranking for. Arrange it by position. Houston residential roofing, roofing Houston Tex. Houston Roofing, Houston Roofing Companies, and we could go on, we'll stop there. But you see they're sitting on number one on Google for those keywords, and just <clears throat> those four keywords alone, that's about 400 or so clicks a month on Google that you're missing out on, okay? So once we do the first thing of getting the right content on your site and getting the right keywords on your site, the next thing is to go and find what we call backlinks, okay? So what are backlinks? Backlinks are pretty much Let's see another roofing site from Houston, Spring, or even Florida. It just needs to be in your kind of field. Roofing, linking back to your site, saying that you're the most popular one here. So the way that Google works, it's like a popularity contest back in high school. The more sites we get linking into your site, the more popular it tells Google you are, and the more they want to rank you for these keywords. So we need to go out, we look at your competitor here, we see that they have 80 referring domains linking back to their site. So we have to beat it, and not all backlinks are created equal. So getting a link from Starbucks linking to you is not going to be as powerful as a home improvement or supply company or something like that linking back to you to tell Google that you're relevant, you're in the right niche, and you're popular. That's what we want to go after, okay? So we have about 80 referring domains. Now we don't want to get the same amount as them. When it comes to links, we want to beat them by either doubling their amount or simply going out and finding quality links with power to really start beating out the competition, to outrank them, and to take that traffic. And then last but not least, I want to talk to you about the third thing we need to go get, and that is what we call citations. Now, I'm sure that you've heard of the map pack before. That's right here. And then just below that is what we call organic. Now, I looked up roofing contractor Houston. I searched the first 10 pages, and I did not see on-point roofing listed. Keep in mind that the top three websites on Google are going to take 80% of the traffic. 
So to get to the top of organic, we've got to get those keywords up. We've got to get all the links coming into your site. And then to get into this map pack right here, we have to go after what we call citations. And a citation is your name, address, and phone number throughout the web on as many directories as possible. And a directory is like Yelp, Yext, City Star, all those directories that are out there. We want to get your business listed on them. It tells Google you're legit. So I put you in this tool and you had about 37 citations and your competitor who's beating you had 249 citations. My recommendation is to go out and get as many as you can. This will take you about 20 minutes per citation. So when you come in the map pack and you look at more businesses for roofing contractor Houston, we're just going to click view all. You were listed on page five at number 98. Goal is to be on the first page. That of course is where most of those clicks on Google are gonna to go to on the map pack. Okay, so once again, we went over content. We gotta get the content on your site. You've got a great looking site, but we gotta get that keyword relevant content. Then once we have that, we need to go after those backlinks, right? We need to get your backlinks up to start driving traffic to where you're getting a lot of people a month to your site. And then once we have that, we want to turn around we want to go after those citations so those are the three things that i think if implemented today it's really going to help you get found on google and drive more customers to your business i've only shown you one competitor and one keyword search there are dozens of buyer intent keywords for the roofing industry that we could capture the traffic of hundreds of clicks per month that you aren't getting so what now well you can either go with this information i provided you and do this on your own and i am totally cool with that However, if you'd, if you'd like the most effective route, you want to save yourself some time, you can give me a call. And here's my info right here. It's Amy Batchelor, and that's my cell, 979-709-1593. If you guys do utilize these three steps I gave you today, you will be ranking on Google, you will be bringing in more customers, and you will be making more money. So don't take this with a grain of salt. Make sure you actually implement what you learned here today, and it's definitely going to help move you forward. If you want to know more about us, you can go to my website. It is lodestarseo.com or once again, you can call me directly on that cell. Tyler, I'm looking forward to following up with you to get your thoughts. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.